Liner Mills and Manufacturers. We are replacing the liner on our 20 by 40 pool and the price quotes differ depending on a 20 mil liner or 28 mil liner. Is it worth it? Also, what are the top three vinyl liner manufacturers you would suggest and why? So let's talk millage first. 20 mil, mil versus 28. If you're in Canada, it would be 20 or 30, and it's the same thing, 28, they just call it 30 in Canada. Uh, the thicker the material, the better it's going to last. It's gonna resist punctures, and it's gonna resa resist the sun more. Now, it's 45 to 43% thicker than the 20 mil, the 28 is, uh, and it's however much your, your quote difference in cost is, you don't get 50% more use out of the liner just because it's 50% thicker or 48% thicker, but you do get a little bit longer use out of the liner. And the only place that it really matters to have the thicker liner really is in the wall. Anywhere that's exposed to the sun, that little bit of thicker material helps. But again, it's, it's 40 some percent thicker material, but it, it doesn't give you 40% more life out of the liner it will give you a little bit more it'll give you a year or two maybe um, i've always liked thicker liners versus thinner liners but i don't think that that you have to have one over the other uh, certainly there's a sales point and way back in the day when we were selling large volumes of vinyl liner pools that was always something i came across is well, this guy sells a 20 mil, well, this guy sells a 30 mil, well, this guy sells a, and it was a kind of a sales point, a psychological thing. I don't know that it matters that much. We have, in terms of liner manufacturers, we have over the years used several different liner manufacturers. We were Kafco dealers all along. Kafco is, is, was bought by Latham, and I don't know how you distinguish in their line of liners anymore if they're manufactured any different or they're not. Uh, I suspect that across all, because they Latham owns several different brands of liners today and brands of pools, I would suspect that that's fairly all the same. It's still what we use, although we have used some Merlin uh, liners that, uh, that I've liked. Um, there's a few other manufacturers out there that uh, I think are, um, are worth giving a shot. I, I don't know. I don't know best versus not best anymore. I was always at one time a Kafko guy, and I believed in Kafko liners, and it had as much to do with the service and all of that 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 I was getting from them. But they, I always had great success with them. Since it's been bought by Latham, it's pretty hard to distinguish what I'm getting. But we've had good success with that, and so Latham for sure. Uh, Merlin. I know Looplock has started making liners in recent numbers of years. Great company. I don't know about their liners so much. There's uh, a few other manufacturers, a little, some of the smaller ones, more regional ones. We're in Michigan here where we used to have four different manufacturers of liners just in the area here. And uh, so we, we got the experience of using a lot of different, a lot of different manufacturers. I would also not discount the more small mom and pop shops, there's a few of those around, and uh, you might want to look into some of those. I happen to name the big names, the known names, but there are some more local ones. Well, just to mention a few, we had not far from us is a company called Tri City Vinyl in Saginaw, Michigan, that makes liners. Uh, we have in Wixom, Michigan, we have Precision Vinyl, which makes liners. We've used those liners in the past as well. And those are a little more mom, mom and pop shop, which is really kind of cool also. And that may be, there may be a reason to use uh, one of those liners just so you have a little more of a closer connection versus Latham, which is just a large company in your number. Yeah, and, and then finally, there's also uh, someone that we know, I think, I think it's Caden, and I think they're out of New Jersey. I'm pretty sure they're in New Jersey. And they originally were, worked for Kafco and went off on their own a number of years ago and we've used their liners as well and had great success. So again, that's a little more of a mom, mom and pop shop kind of a situation, which I think is really cool. And I think supporting those guys is awesome. So um, 
that's kind of what I have for you. I, you can check the big names, but I wouldn't, I, you know, I wouldn't be opposed and I wouldn't turn you away from trying some of the uh, smaller, more regional ones like Caden, like Precision, like uh, Tri-City Vinyl.